Okay, yeah, the previous video was interrupted uh, violently, yeah, because um, it's just the limit that YouTube has set. Uh, which I didn't notice how many seconds it was, but I'll find out when I see my videos online. As I was saying, this is the Quartus thing, I explained the line following bit uh, previously. These are the libraries. Okay, I defined the entity boss handling. Um, these are some, some just generic uh, variables and um, this is uh, my port we have the clock get the inside the like an input bit the output bus and the input bus I've uh, defined these according to the variables so I can have flexibility changing these values later on if you see uh, I g then uh, when I create the um, files I get these parameters here these are my generic variables that I can change uh, on wheel okay this is a very useful bit of uh, VHDL code okay let's go for the VHD file again I don't know how big I should um, make this or what level of zoom should I be using Okay, because you know it's not just uh, the thing to listen to my narration; it's also to see what I'm doing here. Yeah. And by the way, with regards to these intellectual properties, I mean, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, if you manage to see what's going on here and understand what I'm saying, it's not like you've cheated. It's just that. You just understood it and rebuilt it yourself, so I, I really don't mind see that being reproduced with other variable names or something. It's, you know, kind of one of the web sources supposed to be free to educate you. Okay, my libraries, the entities, my generic values, the port, definition, the end of the definition of what is in and out of this chip. I'm defining the architecture of the chip is uh, I say I get a for loop and I say the, I have two situations here one is uh, like a comment set because I'm not using it uh, the output bus is equal to the input bus that means that only the least significant bits starting from bit zero or whatever the first bit is are the ones that uh, are equal and the bits uh, from the incoming bus are really nothing yeah like nothing um, and this is the one that gets the most significant bits which is uh, the one I'm keeping yeah for instance if we have uh, 32 bits in the input bus and 21 bits in the output bus we get the first bit of the input that's the 21st bit of the output plus their difference that means 21st because you see 32 bits that means 31 down to 0 we map it like that we happily say end loop when it has finished these things the way it, the syntax goes in VHDL is um, taken from other languages like ADA and uh, you know um, it, it has a strong resemblance to languages used for you know really high standard stuff actually we should know that VHDL it's um, the American uh, Ministry of Defense standard so they will understand what uh, each notation is you know like standardize the hardware design which is good, but um, yeah, it's, it's used for purposes other than scientific, yeah. Okay, uh, here you might notice that I say wait until clock is equal to 1. Now, why do I say that? I say that because um, if you don't use that, Altera will compile this thing and will say it's fine. But if, if you decide to put that as a block in this design, 
then it will say okay I'm running continuously and I don't know what to do you should give me a wait thing that's just it now why did I spend like six hours to build this because I'm not um, an expert on VHDL I've been uh, trained a lot on C and C++ but um, VHDL is something totally new to me why do I do that? Uh, I do that because you see this this is a bus an unterminated bus and this is uh, the same thing down here let me show you a bit better okay here we go this is my VHDL code as it was compiled as um, something oh I forgot to connect the clock man <laughs> forgot to connect the clock um, I should connect the clock and this is uh, my result this is the bus name and this is the bus name again instead of connecting them I just kept them like that the problem is if you want to get a, a subset of the bus in Altera it really busts your nerves so it's better spending six hours and do it once for and for good all this uh, bus handling and remapping rather than having to do everything again and again time by time because uh, you might notice that uh, many times in digital design we don't want to get all the lines from a bus we get selected lines from a bus for example we might want to get every two lines from a bus I don't know well, you know it's your call yeah <laughs> whatever you have to do in the design and using the graphics of it it really you know breaks your nerves it, it, re it really does yeah it really breaks your nerves it breaks you down because you might have to split uh, like 50 buses in here and there getting sub components and comparing selectively and you can't have a huge design with all these buses and trying to move components and then move the buses and rename so it's something that has to be done yeah okay I guess I've tired you enough for the moment um, that is pretty much my design I need to connect the clock now that I've seen it you know these are just little mistakes that you don't see it says compiled fine you program your device you get <laughs> nonsense results because you've been doing nonsense logic yeah and then you just break your ball where's um, your did I say your ball I should say your head breaking your head on where the mistake is anyway I think I've uh, talked uh, more than uh, I should to make you understand that this is just a video blog till next time